Okay, nine minutes. I should be done in less than that. Um, so another script, uh, two passages, another two passages, or another dual passages that seem to contradict each other. Unless, again, like I told you guys in the other video I made, um, like two videos ago, about whether we should rejoice when God avenges us or we should not avenge. I mean, we should not rejoice when God avenges us. Um, in that video, I explained clearly why those two scriptures are not contradictions. In this one, we have Matthew chapter 5, verse 15 and 16 says one thing, and then Matthew chapter 6, verse 2 through 4 says another. Now, which of these two should we obey? Obviously, we should obey both. But at face value, it looks like they contradict each other. So let's, let's find out. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 15 and 16, Yeshua is speaking to a group of people, like a numerous amount of people, on a mountaintop, or on a mountain, or like in an encampment, and he states, no one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light and good deeds shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Then the very next chapter over, in the in this same sermon, he says, when you give to someone in need, don't do as the hypocrites do, blowing trumpets in the synagogues and streets to call attention to, the, to themselves and to their acts of charity. I tell you the truth, they have received all the reward they will ever get. But when you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Give your gifts in private or in secret, and your father who sees everything or who sees you in private, who sees you in secret, will repay you or will reward you, another translation says. So in chapter 5, he's saying, yeah, let your good deeds be seen, right? Because no one lights a lamp and hides it under a basket. No one wears a gold chain and hides it or tucks it under their shirt. You wear a gold chain for it to be seen, right? You wear rings you don't wear an earring to hide it with something. No, you wear an earring so that it can be seen, right? So let your in, so in the same way, let your good deeds be seen by others so that it will glorify your Father in heaven. But in the next chapter, he says, "Well, when you're doing good deeds, don't let don't let it be seen, because that's what the hypocrites do, right? Don't don't no do it in secret, so that your Father who sees you in secret will reward you, right? He says, when you give to someone in need, don't do as the hypocrites do." blowing trumpets in the synagogues, right? And make drawing attention to themselves. No, do it in private. So should we do good deeds in public or should we do good deeds in private? And now some of you should already know the answer, right? So what what is the answer? <laughs> when I'm telling you these people and their, their so-called um, uh, 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 contradictions and their attempts to try to make our father's book look like a joke. So what's the answer? For the first part, for, for chapter 5, Christ is saying, be, be um, what's the word for it? Do not think about good deeds before you do them. Right? Do good deeds both in public and in private. If you are alone when you are doing a good deed, Go ahead and do it. If you are in public and you are doing good deeds, go ahead and do it. Because actually, if you only do good deeds in private, if you only do things that glorifies God in private, if you only acknowledge God in private, if you only do things in relation to the to the to the um to spirituality, in relation to the kingdom in private, it can also spell that you are ashamed. I'll give you a quick um, story about myself, me personally. I have, like, you know, I mean, you see me in my videos sometimes. I wear, sometimes I dress like this, or sometimes I wear a tank top, or sometimes I wear, I'm shirtless, right? I have an okay physique. And when I was younger, my best friend, Franco, um, we both love God, 
like crazy. It's, it's crazy how we became best friends since 12. We we got together because of martial arts and Jean-Claude Van Damme and Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee and all of that. But we tend to like, but anyway, he would always tell me like, Hermano, because he's Dominican, you say Hermano, like if I had your body, I would wear a tank top. You know, I would wear gold chains and I would show it off. But I was ashamed. Like, not that I was ashamed of my body, but I felt like I would be drawing too much atten attention to myself. So I would always cover up and wear like horrible clothing and baggy clothing. So no one would really know the body I had underneath because I was kind of ashamed. Christ is saying, don't be ashamed. Show it off. Don't do it because you're trying to show it off, but just don't do it with the intention of showing off. You know, but maybe this isn't the best analogy because with the kingdom, you want to show, you want to profess your faith. But if you don't, if you only do it in private, now you could say this is good deeds in terms of getting money to people or so this is where it gets tricky. If you're doing good deeds, okay, if you're, if it's about professing your faith or like teaching or preaching, you can do it in private. You can teach and preach and profess your faith in private to small amount of people in a room. And you can also do it in public. Do not discriminate when you do it. Because if you only do it in private, that means you are ashamed of the kingdom. You are ashamed of Christ, right? So do it irregardless of where you are. Just do it. If, if the time calls for it, do it. If you are doing good deeds, do it in private and do it in public. But when you are doing it in public, do not do it because you want to seek attention. Do it because there is no other way to do it except to do it in private. So you are doing it in, I mean, there is no other way to do it except to do it in public. So you are doing it in public. You understand? So do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Do not do it saying, oh, there are lots of people around. Yeah, this is a good time for me to do it. No, don't do it like that because then you will receive, then that will be the only reward you will ever receive, which is nothing, right? So, so I guess a simpler way to put it is to address the negative. This, this this was actually a little bit more complicated to explain than I than I imagined. Okay, so the the best way to explain it is to denounce the negative aspect, and then the positive aspect you would automatically grasp it. So the negative thing, what you should not do, is do good things only to be observed by others. Don't do that. If you don't do that, then whatever it is you do, whether you do it in public or in private, is good. Right. So do not give to the needy only to be observed by others. Do not pray and fast only to be to be observed by others, because even Christ said concerning fasting, don't let people know that you are fasting and you 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 make your face ashy and you are groaning and saying, oh, I'm so hungry because I'm fasting for God. Like that's so like, yeah, that's so fake. Right. Don't do that. Instead, grease your face with oil, you know, make your beard look nice, dress well. And don't let people know that you are fasting. Then your father who knows you are fasting because he knows all things, he will reward you, right? So the only thing you should not do is whether you are professing your faith, do not do it to be observed by others. Just do it whether you're in public or in private. So this actually was going to take nine minutes. If you are giving to the needy, do not do it to be observed by others. Do not let your right hand know what your left hand is doing or vice versa. Just do it. So you're going to do it whether you are in public or you are in private. It doesn't matter. Just it's about the spirit behind the action. Just as I explained in the, in, the, in the two videos ago about the text not being a contradiction. It's about the intention behind the spirit, behind the action and why you are doing it. So do good wherever you are, but do not do it only just to be observed by others because then it'll be fake. OK, <laughs> yeah, that's 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 it. But see, it's not a contradiction. It's just common sense. All right. Peace.